So uh, we're gonna create a, a database uh, connector adapter. Uh, So basically, I have created a connection. Uh, so if you want to create a new connection, all you got to do is uh, enter a connection name, user ID, password, uh, select the thin driver, give the host name and the port name, uh, and you can test the connection to make sure that you know it is it is able to connect to the database. So I have I'm using existing uh, uh, database connectivity uh, database connection that I have already created. Uh, so this is a GNDA name that uh, that is used. Uh, so so basically, I'm gonna call a, a, a pro procedure, uh, the PL SQL procedure that has been created by a, a database developer. So I'm gonna select a call a store procedure or function, and so click next, and I, I can. Uh, Select a schema in where the uh, the procedure is written. Uh, so you can like uh, browse for the uh, for the PL SQL package which you're gonna call. Or what you can do is you can. Uh, So this is a filter that that you can use to limit your search. You can search the, the PL SQL program that you want to call, store procedure that you want to call. So I will select the uh, procedure that I'm going to call. This will have all the input and output parameters. So I select next and finish. So, so on the right hand side, it has created a, a business service using the DB adapter and it has created the, uh, the schema files, the visual files. Uh, so this schema uh, will show all the uh, has the input and output data structure in it. Uh, so the next step is to create a pipeline actually. So this pipeline will uh, <coughs> will process your uh, It process your request and response messages. So here, uh, so here it gives an option to uh, either use the existing uh, XSD that you have, uh, existing XSD that you have, or you can like you know create your own actually. So what I'll do is you know I will create my own. You can select uh, if. In the top-down approach, if you are using a top-down approach, you will like define your visual how your uh, how your service should look like, and you know uh, and use that. But uh, but if you wanna build use JDeveloper to create your own visual, you know you can create using this uh, option create a visual. Or what you can do is you know you can also uh, just leverage the uh, the business services XSD. Uh, that may not be a good idea because uh, the backend, uh, the backend schemas are pretty raw. Uh, they they're not easy to understand. So, so and also like enterprises, you know, uses a concept called enterprise business object model where you have like all uh, your uh, canonical model, and common uh, schemas that you know that is leveraged across the enterprise. 
so a uh, concept called ebo so if you have ebo's defined you know you can create crystal using those ebo's so for this uh, project we'll basically uh, create our own uh, create our own like visitor schema so so what i'm saying is that uh, uh, i'm going to be creating my own visitor here so basically select uh, if this is a request response so as soon as we receive our invoice we're going to respond with some kind of code saying that you know that we received the the response so here in this you can uh, define your like you know input output messages so what i will do is i will basically create a create a sample a sample like xsd that i can uh, reuse actually so before this uh, what i will do is i will create a, a, a create a sample xsd a so i have already created one xsd uh, you know that i'm gonna use uh, in the interest of the time 